good at this. Okay, I'm just a mom. I'm Cassie's mom. And Cassie can't speak because of her ventilator. But um, when she was asked to do this, we felt so privileged. So she wrote the letter, and I'm going to read it for you. And I'll try not to cry. <laughs> My name is Cassie Bays, and I'm 30 years old from Tornado, West Virginia. The new waiver manual that this state board has suggested will impact me, as well as many others who are receiving services. Cutting services for people with disability is not the answer. These services make it possible for me to live in my own home. I don't want to be in institutionalized. Without my current services, I fear I may die. I receive good care from my nurse, my mom, and my sister. Please understand these services are not wants for me. They are very important for me. I have muscular dystrophy and can't provide even the basic needs and wants that I have. I must depend on someone else to do everything for me, from feeding me to scratching my itches. I depend on a ventilator to breathe. Therefore, someone has to be alert for me at all times to ensure the vent is working properly or to suction my airway as needed. Without this, my life may be put at risk. For what? To save money. Those of you who think these cuts will make things better, I invite you to spend one day with me and any others who need these services. You will see how much we need these services we receive to live in a home as normal as possible. Many parents, like my mother, cannot work because they spend all their time taking care of us or making sure that we are taken care of. Please don't cut these services from me. I could, it could really be a matter of life or death, and I want to live.